around, his foot got crisscrossed, and he fell off the platform, and he landed backwards across his track, right back in his gutter. So when he landed, right, I'm still down there. I look down from down there, and I see a train. See what that train, that rail swooping around? Yeah. The train coming around there, coming in. I see the two lights, I'm like, oh, at all time, the train gotta be coming now. There is something wonderful about a country that produces a brave and humble man like Wesley Autry. It is uh, my great pleasure to introduce a great man. Autry jumped to rescue a stranger who had fallen onto subway tracks, pinned him into a narrow gap between the rails as the train barreled over them. The driver hits the horn. By then, the train may be about 5, 15 feet to where we are now. So something in my mind said, you guys are not going to make it. So I brought him back to me. I bow hugs him and I push him backwards. And we both land in this water. And at the same time, by me being on top of him, both of us going down, the first train car just grazed my hat. You felt it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm a, I'm a construction worker. I'm a everyday people like everybody else here in the city. And every day as I walk up and down these streets and I, and I ride this train, you know, I see a lot of changes that need to be made. And I believe Mark can help us make these changes. You know, we got housing, we, we, we got drug issues. Uh, we got uh, a young uh, four-year-old girl that was killed like two, two days ago. And, you know, we need help here. And we need somebody who's serious, not only about the community, but somebody who's serious about himself. And uh, I believe Mark is that person. Had such an exciting day today with Wes. We started out meeting voters, collecting signatures on my petitions, uh, went around talking to merchants, uh, getting to know some of the people in the stores where, uh, here on the block where they're helping us out on the campaign. Uh, but the highlight for sure was going into the subway station, the very location where Wes saved another man's life six years ago and reliving that experience with him, understanding in a real visceral sense just the kind of fear he faced, the kind of danger he faced, and the lengths he went to to save another human life. I'm really thrilled to be working with Wes and uh, uh, thrilled to get to know him and understand what a real hero he is for our community, for New York, and for America.